Super Bowl 60. In just our third season of being an NFL franchise, the Oklahoma City Bison have made it all the way to the Super Bowl, where we will take on the Kansas City Chiefs today. The last time the Chiefs won a Super Bowl was 38-35 over the Philadelphia Eagles back at Super Bowl 57. The next Super Bowl they would not make it to, but last year's Super Bowl they lost by one to our division rival, the Atlanta Falcons. And today's Super Bowl just happens to be inside the Falcons Stadium, who this season went 6-11. That does not really matter, though. Obviously, the Kansas City Chiefs are led by a 99 overall in Patrick Mahomes, at running back a 93 in Isaiah Pacheco, over at wide receivers an 87 in Rasheed Rice, an 87 in Kadarius Toney, and an 81 in Zay Jones. At tight ends, a 97 overall Travis Kelsey, most likely in his last game. We'll see if he retires following the season. At left tackle, they have an 81 overall, left guard's an 88. Their center is going to be a 95 overall in Creed Humphrey, a former Oklahoma Sooner. At right guard's a 90 overall, and at right tackle is an 85. Their offense is probably the highest rated one in the league at a 91 overall, but I don't think you can sleep on their defense either. They have an 84 overall defensive end in George Karloftis, at right end an 83. At defensive tackles, a 99 in Chris Jones, outside linebackers an 81. Middle linebacker is going to be a 94 in Nick Bolton. Outside linebacker is going to be an 82 in LaShawn Young out of Clemson, a second-year player. At corner is a 90 overall in LeJarius Sneed, an 89 in Trent McDuffie. At free safety is an 87 in Justin Reed, and strong safety is an 80 in Mike Edwards. And I never really show this in videos because generally it won't matter, but because it is the Super Bowl, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. They have a rookie kicker and punter. Curtis McDowell from Texas, and then their punter is a 69 overall from West Georgia and Will Mobley. Now, we do have a few things to take care of before we can jump into today's game, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at these players that need upgrades. The first player is going to be second-year linebacker Colt Clinton, who gets plus one to man coverage, pursuit, tackle, and zone coverage. And then we have rookie wide receiver Jared Bartow. We took him in the fifth round in the last draft. And today he's getting plus one to his awareness, catching, jumping, three to medium route, one to release, spectacular catch, and stiff arm. And he is one of the few players to get a dev trade upgrade before the Super Bowl here. He is up to a superstar dev. I'm not really a big fan of the way EA handles the dev trade upgrades right before the Super Bowl because sometimes going into the offseason, they then lose that dev trade upgrade. I'm not real sure why, or at least going into the next season. I've seen it at least in Madden 23. I don't know if I've actually seen it in 24 though, so maybe they fixed it, but we do have one more upgrade and Braden Willis goes from a star to a superstar as well. Now on defense, we do have one problem here that I just noticed as looking at this, and we for some reason are without Avante Maddox, our number one corner, or Jawan Hurts, our number two corner. Don't really know what's up there. Well, that is not at all what we needed in this game. Jawan Hurts has a broken finger, Khalil Mack has a PCL sprain, and Avante Maddox has a shoulder strain, and I think these two were at least in weekly training. That may have happened in the last game, and I somehow missed it, but Khalil Mack is the one that we have a scenario for right now. Well, I guess we'll go into this one last hurrah for Khalil Mack, even though he doesn't seem to be playing in today's game in the Super Bowl, and he will be retiring, so he's already played his final game. The amount of bad luck on that is incredibly high, I'm pretty sure, but now we have the Super Bowl media day scenario. Every coach's dream is to hoist the Lombardi Trophy as confetti rains down and you have a chance to do that for the first time this week. What would a win mean to you? I'm going to say everything. These coaches work their entire life to get here, and then we have also earned 10 staff points for saying that. We already were the dead last ranked defense in the league this season, and now we're going into this game without one of our best pass rushers and our top two defensive backs. That's going to be a pretty tough ask considering we are taking on the number two offense. Yes, we are the number one offense, but this may end up being a shootout. The Chiefs will get the ball first as Super Bowl 60 is now underway with a kick from Harrison Butker into the end zone, but they will bring it out across the 15, the 20, and he'll get met and brought down at the 21-yard line. Now out comes star quarterback Patrick Mahomes for Kansas City, who has had a phenomenal season, over 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. With no Avante Maddox and no Jawan Hurts, let's see how our secondary holds up. He comes out in shotgun, and on the first play to be a play action to Isaiah Pacheco, he's going downfield to a wide open Travis Kelsey with a massive play to start the game into Bison territory, a 35-yard play. Not the start I had in mind here. Mahomes back in shotgun again. 
Pacheco is the running back. Mahomes with a quick throw to the outside is caught by Kadarius Toney before he is brought down immediately. And now Hassan Reddick is injured. Already down to our backup edge rushers. This is going to be a fun game. First and 10 from the 31. A quick throw downfield is incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of Travis Kelsey by Michael Davis. We are really going to need Davis to step up today. Mahomes lines up under center. Pacheco is the running back here still. He will drop back to pass. He's throwing this one downfield, and that one will be deflected away by Michael Davis from Kadarius Toney. A third and 10. I would take a field goal try the way this drive started. Mahomes out of shotgun. Will drop back to pass. He's firing this one downfield, and he finds Kelsey, but there is a flag down. What's it going to be? It's going to be pass interference on the defense, on Michael Davis. I think that was the one covering Travis Kelsey. They do decline the penalty, I believe. It's first and 10 from the 17. Mahomes will line up under center. He takes the snap, hands off to Pacheco to the outside. He has a huge lane, and Isaiah Pacheco into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Devon Woodbury would return the kick to the 30-yard line, and now it's time for our star quarterback, Nick Samuel, to take the field with 4,900 yards, 41 touchdowns, but 11 interceptions this season. We come out under center to start the game. Kendra Miller is the running back. We send a man in motion. It's a handoff to Curtis Samuel, and Samuel to the outside will start today with a gain of seven. It leads to a second and three now. He's back in shotgun. Samuel will take the snap. He fires this one downfield. That's caught by Curtis Samuel to about the 50-yard line, a gain of 13. Back in shotgun again. Now Puka Williams has checked into the game here at running back. But Samuel will look to pass. He's going downfield and overthrows, I believe, Curtis Samuel. Second down. Nick Samuel back in shotgun now at the 50. Puka Williams is lined up at running back here still. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going deep over the middle. That's caught by Barto, and he's brought down inside the 20. Now we come out in shotgun, and Kendra Miller has checked back into the game here. From the 17, he'll look to pass again. Going over the middle, and that'll be caught by Barto again, and this time he's brought down to the five-yard line. First and goal, Oklahoma City. Now we come out in a goal line set with Samaj P. Ryan lined up at running back. We'll take the snap and we give it to P. Ryan, who goes up the middle, and he will fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma City, and we will tie this game up at seven. Mahomes and the offense now come out following a touchback from the 25-yard line. He lines up in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. He'll take the snap, a quick throw downfield. That'll be caught for the first down. I believe it's Kadarius Toney. That moves them all the way down to their own 49-yard line. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. It's a fake to Pacheco. Now he throws this one downfield along the sideline, and that's Travis Kelsey for the first down. Mahomes already at 100 passing yards today, averaging a little bit over 20 yards at completion. First and 10 from the 36. Mahomes will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Kelsey, but quickly brought down by Colt Clinton. Second and 10. Now they come out in a five-wide set for the very next play. Mahomes will take the snap. A quick throw over the middle is going to be incomplete in and out of the hands of Travis Kelsey. I think I figured out their game plan. It's to try to get the ball to their best receiving option the entire game. Now third down. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. He will drop back to pass. Going deep downfield, and he's got Travis Kelsey wide open for the first down. Why are we not covering him? On the next play out of a five-wide set, he'll drop back and fire downfield. That's caught by Rasheed Rice to bring up a second and two. Now at the nine-yard line, back in a pistol formation. Isaiah Pacheco is the running back. Mahomes will take the snap. A quick throw to the outside is caught and brought down in the backfield is Rasheed Rice, third and five. Now from the 11-yard line, Mahomes is back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. He will take the snap, roll out to the outside, and is Mahomes going to take off? No, he won't. He throws it away. We hold him to a field goal try. Out comes their rookie kicker for about a 28-yard attempt. This should be no problem for him. The kick is away, and it is good. Nick Samuel and the Bison's offense come out of their own 20-yard line to start their next drive. He lines up under center. Has a couple people in the backfield with him. It'll be a handoff to Kendra Miller, who goes up the middle and will get brought down for a three-yard gain, his first carry on the day. Now a second and seven. Samuel lines up under center here from the 24. He takes a snap, hands off to Kendra Miller to the outside. He's got the first down and is brought down to the 36. Backup running back Puka Williams now checks into the game. Nick Samuel lines up in shotgun. He will take the snap and look for a quick pass to the outside. That will be caught by Tyler Lockett, and he's going to get brought down for just a three-yard play here. That brings up a second and seven from the 39-yard line. He lines up under center. It will be a play action to Kendra Miller. Now he throws it to Kendra Miller on the outside, who will have the first down for Oklahoma City down to the 48-yard line. We come back out in shotgun for the very next play. Nick Samuel will take the snap and looks at pass. He throws to the outside, and that will be caught by Barto. Never mind. I think they ruled that incomplete. 
That sets up a second and ten. Samuel back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and looks to pass a quick throw to Braden Willis, but he can't haul it in. Third down, Oklahoma City. Will we be able to keep this drive alive? Samuel lines up in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. He will take the snap and looks to pass, looking for a quick throw. That'll be caught by Bartow, who breaks the tackle. And now Jared Bartow is off to the races, and he is going. Touchdown, Bison, and we have the lead 14-10, thanks to number 14. Just a great connection this season, and it pays off one more time with a big receiver breaking a tackle and then just breaking away from the rest of the defense. The Chiefs take over at their own 22-yard line here. Mahomes is back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back, but they will look to pass here. He throws to the outside. That is going to be caught for a four-yard gain. That was Kadarius Toney on the reception. Now a second and six from the 26. Mahomes back in shotgun. It'll be a handoff to Pacheco, who goes up middle, makes some people miss, and sets up a third and two. From the 30-yard line now, Mahomes back in shotgun, looking to keep this drive alive. Pacheco is lined up at running back, but he will look to pass here. He's going to throw this one downfield. It's caught by Pacheco, who breaks two tackles, and now will finally be brought down to the 46-yard line. That 15-yard gain does keep their drive alive. Mahomes comes back in shotgun, and now he's going to change the play up a little bit. Pacheco is still lined up in the backfield, but he looks a little bit tired, and that's going to be a false start on Kansas City, I believe. Never mind, neutral zone infraction on Oklahoma City, and that's going to be called on Obo Okoronkwo. That penalty moves them across the 50-yard line, so now in Bison territory. Mahomes is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap on first and five and find Travis Kelsey for the quick and easy first down. Under a minute to play here in the first quarter now. Kelsey already has six catches for 91 yards, and now Mahomes under pressure will throw it away right before Yannick and Gakwe can get home. It leads to a second and ten. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. He will send him in motion. Now he takes the snap. And it's a quick throw to the outside that's tipped in the air and falls incomplete. Third down for Kansas City now. It looks like their backup running back is finally checked in. From the 42, Mahomes will look to pass. He's going to throw this one downfield, and he has Travis Kelsey wide open again, and he's across 100 yards today. In the first quarter, Mahomes has completed 13 passes, and seven of them have been to Travis Kelsey. First and 10 from the 18 now. He's under pressure, rolling to the outside, throws on the run downfield, and he finds his man, and that is going to be a touchdown for Kansas City as they will retake the lead. This will most likely be the final play of the first quarter here. From our own 22-yard line, it's a handoff to Kendra Miller to the outside. Using his speed, he gets to the edge. Now Miller off to the races, breaks the tackle, but it forces him out of bounds of the 47. The Chiefs did suffer an injury on that play, so they lose one of their defensive linemen. Now on first and 10, Nick Samuel will come out under center. He's changed the play up just a little bit. Kendra Miller is the running back. It's a quick throw to the outside. Caught by Curtis Samuel. That's a seven-yard gain. Now Samuel lines up under center again. Kendra Miller is still the running back here. In Kansas City territory, we'll take the snap and look for a pass. It's a quick throw to Curtis Samuel for the first down. We come back out under center. Now the 38-yard line. Kendra Miller is the running back, and that's where we will go with it. Miller to the outside. We'll get brought down for about a five-yard carry. On the next play, it's a five-wide set. Samuel back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. A quick throw is going to be caught by Braden Willis, and he's brought down for the first down, but now Braden Willis is injured. Luckily, we still have backup tight end Jerry Brooks, but I'm not liking all the injuries I'm seeing today. First and 10 from the 28. Samuel back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to fire this one over the middle. That's Curtis Samuel down inside the 10, but he fumbles the ball, and Kansas City has recovered. He was not brought down and finally will be at the 10-yard line. Just a massive play for the Chiefs defense there. The Bison's offense was once again driving the massive hit, forces the ball free, and now Kansas City has a chance to make it a two-score game. There wasn't even a reason to review that call. First and 10 from the 10. Hand out to Pacheco to go right out the middle. He has some great blocking and the first down, breaking tackles, and finally brought down to the 29-yard line. Mahomes comes out as the only one in the backfield on the next play. He will take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw is going to be caught by who else but Travis Kelsey. Now down the sideline, he has the first down and will finally get brought down in Bison territory at the 43. They come back in shotgun one more time, but Checo is the running back. It's a quick throw downfield. That will be caught by Rasheed Rice for another Kansas City first down. Mahomes back in shotgun with Pacheco in the backfield here. From the Bison 31-yard line. He will take the snap. It's a handoff to Pacheco to the outside. Some great blocking and the first down and a lot more. Isaiah Pacheco is gone. Touchdown, Kansas City. We now come out of our own 24-yard line down by 10. 
Samuel comes out under center. Kendra Miller lines up at running back, and we will start the drive with a handoff to Miller to the outside. That'll just get a gain of a yard. Now a second and nine from the 25-yard line. Samuel lines up under center, and Kendra Miller is still the back, but it's a quick throw. That'll be caught by Curtis Samuel, and he will get brought down, bringing up a third and two. Now Nick Samuel back in shotgun from the 33-yard line, looking to keep the drive alive. A quick throw to the outside will be incomplete, intended for Curtis Samuel, and we will punt the ball away. We are definitely going to need the defense to step up on this drive, otherwise this could become a three-score game. Mahomes out of shotgun with a quick throw downfield, will find his man, and that's going to fall incomplete, actually. Knocked out of his receiver's hands. That makes it a second and ten. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back still. But Mahomes will look to pass. A quick throw downfield caught by Kelsey, but it's knocked out of his hands by Darnell Waters, our rookie linebacker. Now with a third and ten, Mahomes back in shotgun from the 23. He'll take the snap and look to pass. Going downfield, and he will find his man for the first down. That's Kadarius Tony to the 40-yard line. Now first and ten, he lines up under center again. He'll take the snap. It's going to be a handoff to Pacheco, who will bounce to the outside, and he gets brought down for just a three-yard run, so we can stop him. It felt like he had gashed us every single time he touched the ball so far. Second and seven. From the 43-yard line, Mahomes will drop back to pass. A quick throw downfield caught by Pacheco, and he holds on through contact. Third and two. A chance to get their offense off the field here. Mahomes will drop back. A quick throw to the outside caught by their tight end, and he won't have the first down. Fourth and inches thanks to John Marion. Following that punt, we take over at the 17-yard line. We come out in an eye formation with a handoff to Samaj P. Ryan to the outside. And P. Ryan is now down the sideline, juking players out. That is not P. Ryan's game, but he gets a huge play here. First and 10 all the way to the 41. Watching someone get juked out by Samaj P. Ryan, I haven't really seen since his days at Oklahoma. First and 10 from the 41. Now Samuel roll out to the outside, and he's going to get sacked on the play for a loss of nine. That sets up a second and 19. From the 32, he takes the snap. It's a play action to Kendra Miller. Now looking to go downfield. Dance around the pocket a little bit. Now finally going to throw this one downfield. That'll be caught by Barto, and he will power his way through a man for the first down. Now another eye formation for Oklahoma City, but this time it's Kendra Miller in it running back. From the Chiefs' 49-yard line, it will be a pass play, and he's going to roll out to the outside. He's going to throw this downfield, and that is going to be caught by our lineman for a gain of two. I guess with the injury to Braden Willis, our third string tight end is officially a lineman. And on the next play, that one will fall incomplete. I think he was trying to go to Jerry Brooks. Now third and eight. To keep our drive alive from the 47-yard line. He lines up in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. Samuel standing in the pocket now stepping up. Is he just going to take off? Yes, he will. And he will have the first down before getting body slammed down to the 38 for a gain of nine. It is the Super Bowl. Go ahead and put your body on the line for everything here. First and ten. He's back in shotgun. Samuel looks to pass again. He throws on the run downfield. That one will be caught, and Tyler Lockett got punished. A gain of seven. We are officially near the two-minute warning now. A second and three. Samuel out of shotgun will drop back a quick throw, caught by Jerry Brooks, and he has the first down, but now he gets body slammed, and that should take us to the two-minute warning. Now at the 26-yard line, we come back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back here. But Samuel Will looks to pass again. Rolling to the outside, under pressure, throws on the run. He finds Barto. That's a seven-yard play. A minute and 30 seconds to play in the half from the 20-yard line. Samuel is back in shotgun. That is Puka Williams still at running back, but Samuel will throw to the other side into traffic, and luckily that falls incomplete. Samuel comes out as the only one in the backfield with a five-wide set. Or we're going to have to settle for a field goal. He takes the snap and looks to pass. He lobs this one downfield, caught by Brooks, and our drive will stay alive. But now Terrence Steele, our, our starting tackle, if I can talk, is injured. That would force us to burn a timeout with a minute 18 to play in the half now. From the 14-yard line, Nick Samuel back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. He steps up in the pocket. He's just going to take off here and slide down to the 8-yard line, second and three. Now under a minute to play here in the first half, about 40 seconds to go. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back, but he'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Zach Ertz, and he's got the first down, and we burn our second timeout with 33 seconds. Now Samuel comes out in shotgun from the three-yard line. Puka Williams is lined up at running back. Samuel will take the snap. They're bringing quick pressure, and that gets tipped down at the line. I don't know if that actually got tipped or just bounced off of a player. Either way, it leads to a second and goal. Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back here. I see Tyler Lockett in the slot, and that's where they're going with it. And Tyler Lockett into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma City. It is now a three-point game. 
Now we will watch if Kansas City is able to get into field goal range before halftime. It's going to be a play big to Pacheco. Now throwing downfield, and once again, it's Travis Kelsey. This one all the way down to the 38-yard line. However, Kansas City elects to not burn a timeout, even though they started with a really good game there. And we go to halftime 24-21. And Oklahoma City will get the ball to start the second half, and it is now underway. Let's see what kind of return Devon Woodbury can get here from about the five-yard line. Woodbury will get brought down at about the 32, a pretty solid return for us. Now the Bisons have a chance to retake the lead here. Nick Samuel will line up under center. Kendra Miller is lined up at running back to start the second half, and that's where we go with it. He breaks that tackle up the middle and is brought down for a four-yard gain. On the next play, it looks like Puka Williams is checked in at running back. Now on second down, we will give it to Puka. And Puka will get body slammed down for just a gain of three yards. Now third and three for Oklahoma City. Will we avoid the three and out to start the second half? From our own 39-yard line, Samuel is back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. A quick throw to the outside, and that really should have been a pick six. I guess I'll take a punt considering the alternative on that play. The Chiefs take over at their own 23-yard line, up by three. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back here. It will be a handoff to Pacheco, who cuts back, but will get brought down for just a one-yard play. Now a second and nine. Mahomes back in shotgun again. Pacheco is still in the backfield. From their own 24-yard line, he will draw back to pass here. A quick throw to the outside is going to be caught by Pacheco for a short game. Third and seven. Are both teams going to start this half with a three and out? From their own 26-yard line, Mahomes back in shotgun. Will look to convert through the air, and he overthrows Travis Kelsey, who was wide open. So on almost every single drive of the last half, someone managed to score. This half, we both start with a three and out, and now Woodbury on the punt return to the outside is going to get brought down to the 41. That will give the Bison pretty solid field position here. Samuel lines up under center. We're going to start with a handoff to Kendra Miller right up the middle, and Miller will start this drive with a nine-yard gain to the 50-yard line. Now on second and one, Samuel lines up under center again. About nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. It'll have been another handoff to Kendra Miller, who has the first down and a lot more. He is brought down to the Chiefs' 40-yard line. That has seemingly worked pretty well so far today. Can we just keep giving it to Kendra Miller? Samuel back in shotgun. No, he's going to look to pass downfield, and he finds Bartow for another Bison first down. Bartow is having one hell of a day. Six catches for 135 yards and a touchdown so far. Now from the 27, he'll drop back. He's going downfield. He finds Barto again, but this time he can't hold on to it. My bad if I kind of jinxed him on that play. Now second and 10. He comes back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back, and it's a play action. Samuel escapes the pressure and throws it downfield and finds Jerry Brooks for the first down. How did he get away from the sack there? It looked like Kansas City dialed up the perfect defensive play. Samuel just makes a miss and then finds his tight end. Now first and 10 from the 16, we give it to Kendra Miller, and he goes up the middle, has some space, and will finally get brought down at about the five-yard line. First and goal, Oklahoma City. A goal line set, and I see our middle linebacker Darnell Waters lined up at tight end here. It's a toss play to Samaj P. Ryan on the outside, and P. Ryan will fight his way forward and get brought down to the three-yard line, ultimately about a one-yard gain. Now we go the exact opposite of a goal line formation. We go with a five-wide set. Samuel all alone in the backfield. We'll take the snap looking for a quick pass. He throws that one to Curtis Samuel, who will dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma City, and we will retake the lead 28-24. The Chiefs get to come out following a touchback from their own 25-yard line. Mahomes is back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back here. He will take the snap and looks a pass. He steps up, throws on the run, finds Pacheco, but he's brought down for a four-yard gain. Now Mahomes all alone in the backfield with a five-wide set. From the 29-yard line, Mahomes will take the snap. And look to pass. A quick throw to the outside is caught by Kelsey, and they give him the first down. That is reception number 10 today for Travis Kelsey. From the 35-yard line, Mahomes will line up under center. Pacheco is the running back, but he'll drop back to pass here. A quick throw caught by Tony, who breaks the tackle and is brought down for a 7-yard gain. Mahomes back in shotgun, now at his own 42-yard line. He will take the snap. It will be a play fake to Pacheco. A quick throw caught by Kelsey, who is running wide open, and he's down to the 46-yard line. First and 10, Kansas City. Our defensive strategy of just not covering their best receiving option is definitely a choice, I guess. First and 10. Mahomes with a quick throw will overthrow everybody. I think Kelsey and Rasheed Rice got tangled up. Now a second and 10. He lines up under center. Pacheco is lined up in the backfield, and that is where they'll go with it. And Pacheco up the middle makes one man miss and ends up with about a seven-yard run here. Third and three. Mahomes lines up under center from the 39-yard line of Oklahoma City. On third down, it's a handoff to Pacheco right up the middle, and he has the first down to the 34. 
Now a first and 10. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco was still lined up at running back here. He will take the snap and look to pass downfield and somehow got that through traffic. Never mind, they rule it incomplete. I guess he couldn't hold on. I don't know how that got through everybody though. Now second and 10. And it looks like he's going to change the play. Pacheco is now going to line up at wide receiver. He has changed it to a five wide set here. Travis Kelsey is lined up in the slot. Mahomes with a quick throw to the outside will be caught by Tony and brought down to bring up a third and four. Mahomes in shotgun from the 27 looking to keep the drive alive. It's a fake to Pacheco. Now rolling to the outside. He throws on the run deep downfield. He has his man and Kadarius Tony into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. About 2.41 to go here in the third quarter. We begin at our own 25-yard line. Samuel out of shotgun with a quick throw to the outside. Caught by Kendra Miller who jukes out one man and will get brought down ultimately for no gain. That brings up a second and 10 and Puka Williams has checked himself into the game here. Still at the 25-yard line, Samuel out of shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. He's under pressure, throws on the run downfield. That'll be caught for a game of about three yards, I think, by Tyler Lockett. That brings up a third and seven from the 28-yard line. Samuel out of shotgun will take the snap, fake it to Kendra Miller. Now roll out to the outside, under pressure, throw that one away. Fourth down and will punt it back to Kansas City. The Chiefs take over at their own 35-yard line. Mahomes lines up under center. With 1.20 to go here in the third quarter, it's a play action. Now he throws downfield, caught by Kelsey. Who else is it going to be? And that's a one-yard game. Now a second and nine. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back. From the 37, he'll take the snap and look to pass. He throws this one downfield. That'll be a wide open Travis Kelsey down the sideline and finally brought down to the 17. What are we doing? Inside the red zone now with under 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Mahomes out of shotgun. will take the snap. Roll to the outside. He throws this one downfield, and that's going to be incomplete. Thankfully, knocked out of Travis Kelsey's hands. Now on second and 10 from the 17-yard line. Mahomes will line up under center. He'll drop back to pass. He's under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play by Perry on Winfrey. Finally, our defensive line gets to him. But that will take us to the final quarter of this game with a third and 16 from the 24-yard line. It's a handoff to Pacheco, and he is met and brought down by Yannick Ngakwe, and I believe Drew Parker, a backup defensive back, who's getting a bit of playing time today. They will settle for a field goal and a six-point lead as long as their rookie kicker can make this. About a 41-yard attempt, the kick is away, and this one is good. Nick Samuel comes out of the 22-yard line to start this drive, down by six. We are in an eye formation. Samaj P. Ryan is the running back, and that's where we go. That P. Ryan up the middle, making people miss again. Why are we not giving the ball to Samaj P. Ryan a bit more today? Four carries for 46 yards. Now Samuel lines up under center. From the 37-yard line, Kendra Miller is lined up at running back this time. We'll take the step, and we give it to Kendra Miller, who gets to the outside, breaks one tackle, and is brought down for a three-yard carry. Now a second and seven at the 40-yard line. Samuel's going to change the play a little bit. Kendra Miller is still the running back, but he'll drop back to pass this time. Goes downfield, and that bounces off of Curtis Samuel. I think it was intended for Barto. Now we get a five-wide set for the Bison. Samuel is all alone in the backfield, looking to convert on this play. He'll take the snap, a quick throw downfield, caught by Curtis Samuel for the first down into Kansas City territory, down to the 41. Under 10 minutes to play here in the Super Bowl now. And Samuel will line up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back, and that's where we go with it. Miller will get brought down for a three-yard gain yet again. Now on second and seven. From the 37-yard line, Samuel's back in shotgun. Puka Williams is in at running back, but Samuel will look to pass. He throws this one underneath. That's caught by Jerry Brooks and sets up another third down. It's a third and three, and we're in a pistol set. Puka Williams is lined up at running back. Samuel will take the snap. He's going to look to go downfield, and that one will be caught by Jerry Brooks down to the 17. First and 10, Bison. Samuel lines up under center yet again. Kendra Miller is still in at running back this time. We'll take the snap and give it to Kendra Miller. And he will once again get brought down for a three-yard gain. I think that's the third time on this drive he's gotten a three-yard carry. Now a second and seven. And Samuel's going to completely change the play here. I think he's just flipped it to the other side. From the 14-yard line, Kendra Miller is still the running back here. But Nick Samuel will look to pass. He's going to fire this one downfield, and that's caught by Jared Barto in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma City. We should take a one-point lead. As long as Harrison Butker can drill this, the kick is away, and it is good. Now we just need the defense to come up with a stop. Kansas City will come out of their own 20-yard line to start their next drive with 7.41 to play. Mahomes is lined up in shotgun. Pacheco is still the running back. They will start with a handoff to Pacheco to the outside, and that'll be a four-yard gain, second and six. 
They come back in shotgun for the very next play, about seven minutes to go here in the game. From the 24-yard line, it's another handoff to Pacheco up the middle, and this time he'll have the first down and more brought down to the 34-yard line, and he's officially over 100 yards today. Under seven minutes to play, Mahomes is lined up in shotgun. He will take the snap, handoff to Pacheco, who cuts up field, trying to make some people miss, but is brought down for just a two-yard carry. Now a second and eight, Mahomes is back in shotgun. That is not Pacheco in the backfield. That seems to be their backup. He'll take the snap, and he throws it to the backup running back who has the first down into Bison territory all the way to the 41-yard line. Mahomes back in shotgun on the next play. It's a handoff to Pacheco, but he is met in the backfield and brought down by Yannick Ngakwe and 54, which I believe is Obo Okoronkwo. Now a second and 11. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is still in the game here. See where he tries to go on this play. He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Pacheco again. He has some good blocking, and that will set up a third and in inches, but now Creed Humphrey is injured for Kansas City. That could be a huge loss for the Chiefs. Now on third and inches, Mahomes will change the play, and he lines up under center. Pacheco is the running back. I have a feeling that's where they're going, guys. Please be ready for it. It's a play back to Pacheco, so I would have been wrong. Now Mahomes under pressure is sacked on the play by Ovo Okoronkwo to force a fourth and 11. And they are going to punt this ball away rather than try an incredibly long field goal. That sack was massive because it moved them out of field goal range. And the punt will bounce through the back of the end zone. And we take over at the 20-yard line with 4.33 to go. We just need to take care of the ball. Samuel is back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. We will look to pass, though. Samuel rolling to the outside. Throws off his back foot deep downfield. And that should have been intercepted. Luckily, it was not. All right, we took the shot play to Curtis Samuel. Now just play it safe. Second and 10. It looks like he's going to change the play a little bit. Jared Bartow is now lined up at tight end. Don't really know how much I agree with that, but we'll take the snap and look to pass. Rolling to the outside, throwing on the run again. This time he finds Curtis Samuel, and that will set up a third and inches for Oklahoma City. And it looks like that entire ball is across the first down marker, but whatever. Third and inches. A quick throw will be caught by Bartow, who holds on to it for the first down. We are about three and a half minutes away from winning a Super Bowl. Samuel lines up in an eye formation. Samaj Piran is the running back. They give it to Piran to the outside. Piran will continue his amazing day with a first down run into Kansas City territory. Now under three minutes to play. Kansas City has still not burned any timeouts here. At the Chiefs 45 yard line, Samuel is lined up in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look for a quick pass downfield caught by Barto who has another first down for the Bison. Realistically, we would take that down to the two-minute warning, but that's not EA's plan here. On first and ten, we'll take the snap right before the two-minute warning, hand off to Kendra Miller, and that brings us to the two-minute warning at one minute and 58 seconds. Now a second and 12. He lines up under center. We go back to Samaj P. Ryan, who gets met and brought down for a two-yard gain. They burn their first time out. Now a third and ten with a minute 55 to go. From the Chiefs' 35-yard line, Samuel will take the snap. He fires this one downfield, and that is deflected out of the air. He had Barto open a great play from Justin Reed. We will send out Harrison Bucker for a 52-yard attempt to try to make this at least a four-point game. The kick is away, and this one will be good. They need a touchdown. The Chiefs will take over at their own 27-yard line with a minute 44 to play and two timeouts. This moment may have been built exactly for Patrick Mahomes. He'll take the snap and look at the pass on the first play. He finds his man underneath, and that's just going to be a four-yard gain. We will take those right now. A minute 25 to play, second and six. Mahomes back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap. He's going to fire this one downfield. That's top by Tony, who has the first down, breaks the tackle, jukes out another player, and gets out of bounds of the 46. Are you kidding me, defense? First and 10 with a minute 17 to play. They still have two timeouts. Mahomes out of shotgun, will take the snap and look to pass. He fires this one downfield. That's going to be caught by Pacheco, who doesn't get out of bounds, so the clock will continue to run. They don't burn a timeout. A minute to go in the game. Mahomes back in shotgun again. From the Bison 44, he'll take the snap and look to pass. He fires this one downfield to a wide open man. That's their backup tight end, and he gets all the way down to the 16-yard line. They would burn their second timeout with 46 seconds to go. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back here. At the 16, he'll take the snap and look at the pass. He fires this one over the middle. That's caught by Pacheco, who is brought down. Will they burn that final timeout? No, they will not. The clock runs down to about 20 seconds to go. Second and two. From the eight-yard line, Mahomes will take the snap. Roll to the outside. Throws on the run. He finds his man, and that's going to be brought down to the four-yard line. They burn that final timeout. First and goal. Mahomes back in shotgun. We need the defense to make a play. He'll take the snap. He's under quick pressure and throws that one away. 
11 seconds to go in the Super Bowl. Mahomes back in shotgun. Pacheco is the running back here from the four-yard line. It's a quick throw, and he misses his receiver. Third and goal. With nine seconds remaining, Mahomes comes out with no one else in the backfield. A bunch set at the top of your screen there. He takes the snap and throws to the end zone and has a wide open Zay Jones. Touchdown, Kansas City. And with six seconds to go, they will line up for the extra point, and that will make it a three-point game. Now we'll see what kind of kick return we can get. The kick will be sent deep to Devon Woodbury. Will we just take the touch back here? No, we won't because they don't send it into the end zone. Woodbury will bring it up, and he will fight his way forward and get brought down to the 26 with two seconds remaining. We need an absolute miracle from our offense here. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass, obviously. Standing back in the pocket. He's under pressure. He's finally going to throw this one deep downfield. He's got a man wide open. He makes the catch, but he's brought down. And Kansas City will win the Super Bowl 41-38. to We come up just shy. You've really got to think, would this game have been different if we don't lose Khalil Mack, Hassan Reddick, and our best two corners? Mahomes and Kelsey absolutely torched us today. But obviously only in our third year of a franchise, getting to a Super Bowl and hanging around with a dynasty like the Chiefs, is a pretty big accomplishment. The final stats on the day, quarterback Nick Samuel goes 32 of 45 for 360 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions on the ground. Kendra Miller ran for 88 yards. Samaj P. Ryan ran for 10.6 yards a carry and got a touchdown. Receiving Jared Barto really showed up today. Nine catches, 168 yards and two scores. Curtis Samuel, eight for 88 and a touchdown. Jerry Brooks played well. Tyler Lockett, five for 43 and a score. Unfortunately, we did not get Braden Willis very long on his first reception. He got injured over on defense. Darnell Savage led the team in tackles and sacks. Perion Winfrey got one. Obo Okoronkwo got one. Tackles for loss. We had Yannick Ngakwe, Obo Okoronkwo, and Drew Parker, who all got two. We got no interceptions on Mahomes. Now let's go look at the Chiefs stats, and these are going to be really, really bad to look at. Mahomes went 37 of 51 for 483 yards and three touchdowns. Isaiah Pacheco ran 14 times for 113 yards and two scores. And then Travis Kelsey and possibly his last game, 13 catches, 226 yards, no touchdowns. Kadarius Toney, 8 for 111 in a score. And then Shane Zilstra, their backup tight end, 3 for 48 in a score. And then Zay Jones, 2 catches for 8 yards, but does have the game-winning touchdown. And then just to add some more insult to injury here, Hassan Reddick has a dislocated hip. Not that it matters because we're at the end of the season and then Khalil Mack has retired as you can tell because he's no longer on this screen at all. Obviously the season does not end quite the way we wanted it to but only in season 3 getting to a Super Bowl is pretty damn impressive to me. But in the next episode we will go ahead and jump into the offseason and try to get this team a little bit better and handle everything from free agency to the draft.